Hey y'all, today I'm here um, because I wanted to show you all a look that I saw on the back of a magazine um, that I've been wanting to try out, so I thought why not share it with you all. So this is the look, and this is the back of an Ulta magazine, uh, Allure magazine by Ulta. I don't know if it's showing up good on the screen, but she's just wearing like a a lime or goldy green eyeshadow and bright red lips. It's a very simple but still bold and daring look, so I decided to do my take on it. Um, this is this kind of look will be something that's very easy to do, but still nice enough to wear to a party, and it just has a little extra spunk to it. So, <laughs> if you're interested in seeing how I got this look, please keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to start off this look today with foundation, and today I'm going to be using uh, Revlon Color Stay Whipped. I'm in the color Caramel. I actually like to use this foundation with my fingers, so... seems to just apply better with the fingers. Whenever I use a brush, it, to me, it kind of makes my skin look a little bit too dry. Alright. Got that all blended in. Okay, next I'm going to prime my eyes. I'm using Urban Decay Primer Potion, and the shade is Eden. You really just need a little bit of this. So even though it's expensive, it doesn't feel like it because you use so little. Actually, sometimes if you use too much, it just kind of slides all around your eye. It takes you a while to blend it in. So always use just a dab. All right, and I'm going to move on to my eyebrows. I'm just using this Jordana Fabry Brow Brow Pencil. I really should have sharpened this beforehand, but oh well. Alright, it look pretty even. Alright, so I'm going to zoom you in so I can do uh, my eyes. Alright, so I'm going to be using um, this NYX eye pencil and the color is green papaya. I don't know if you can see that, but... Oh, there we go. I'm just going to use this as a all-over base color. and blend it out with my fingers. And for the look, the green actually went into a crease, so I'm going to make sure I bring this all the way up into my crease. Alright, now I'm going to take this Cargo Eyeshadow Duo, and I'm using the goldy color here. It's kind of like a greenish gold. Um, if you don't have something like this, just make sure you really pack on the green underneath, and then you can put a gold on top to get the same effect. So I'm going to take that with a flat shader brush.
That's why it's important for you to put enough of the green base on so you can see it through um, and you can get that green gold color. All right, put a little bit more. I'm gonna take that same color and do it right in the corners as well. Okay, so using the same brush, I'm gonna flip it over and go into my highlight. This is um, Nude by NYX. And it's just a pale ivory color, any shade will do. Okay, for eyeliner, I'm going to take this pencil eyeliner, and this is Rimmel Exaggerate. And it almost looks as if she's not wearing any eyeliner, so this is not going to be very defined. I just want to darken up the lash line. So next, I'm going to take my mascara. I'm using Maybelline Falsies. And you can go heavy on the mascara. If you like to wear fake lashes, be my guest, but I don't. Makes me feel too fake. So actually while that's drying, I'm going to go ahead and do my concealer uh, underneath my eyes before I do my bottom lashes. So today for concealer, I'm using MAC Studio Fix and I'm actually going to use a brush today. Okay, so now I'm going to um, go ahead and set that. I'm going to use Ruby Kisses HD Set and Forget Powder. I'm just using a fluffy brush. Take a little bit of that. Tap off the excess. And just pat it underneath. This is a yellow tone powder. I don't know if you can see that. But it kind of helps keep the brightness under your eyes. Okay, now that's done, I'm gonna go ahead back with my mascara and do another coat on my lashes and do my bottom lashes. And those are the finished eyes. Okay, so um, when I'm doing a look like this, I like to look really polished. So I do. I am gonna contour my face today, which I don't always do. Uh, I'm gonna be using CoverGirl Queen. And this is in the color Ebony Bronze.
All right, for blush today, I'm taking NARS Love Joy. And again, on on this look, the lips are a star of the show, so you don't want to go crazy with your blush or anything, or you might end up looking like a clown. So this is kind of really close to my skin tone, but brings a little bit of rosiness to the cheek, very natural. It also has a little bit of a shimmer, but not much. For a highlight today, I'm going to do uh, the Balm Mary or Betty Luminizer. This is the darker one. And um, I chose to do a dark one just because, again, I don't want a really sh harsh highlight for this. But I do want my face to look structured. Okay. So for the lips, I've already put a, a chapstick on before I started. Uh, and I like to do that at the very beginning just because... I like my um, I like the chapstick to kind of be soaked into my lips before I go straight in with the lipstick. Um, so they feel relatively dry to the touch. So I'm going to take this lip liner and it's in sheer cocoa. It's by Ulta brand. And I think I just got this really cheap on clearance or something, but it's natural. It just matches the color of my lips pretty much. And I do like to line my lips with the natural color um, when I'm doing a bright lip color just because um, sometimes bright colors can feather outside of your lip line. So the, the um, lip liner just kind of helps to hold it in. You really can't tell the difference though as far as you can't see the lip liner. So now I'm going to take a MAC Lady Danger. And this is a beautiful bright red orange or orange red I guess it's more more red but it does have a definite orange tone to it and depending on what your in undertones are for some people it's going to look more red or some people it's going to look more orange on Now for the outer portions of my lips, I like to take a, um, a brush and use that on the outside just so it's neat. So if you got outside of the lines and you might want to take this opportunity to clean it up. Um, if you really went out, you can take a concealer and just go around the edges of your lips wherever you made a mistake to cover up that bright color. I think I'm good. So in the picture, her lips were a little bit glossy. I actually prefer it like this matte because um, to me it just looks better. But if you want to do a gloss, I would just take a clear gloss like this and put a little bit on. Um, like I said, I like it matte like this, so I'm not going to go with the gloss, but you are welcome to. So, that's it for the finished look. I hope you all enjoyed this, and I hope you give it a try. Um, please feel free to leave your comments and questions down below. And send me pictures on Twitter or Instagram if you decide to try to look out. Thanks. Bye.